Hi kids, it's Patty from Take and Make Crafts. We are gonna have a variety of card making kits for you this week. So I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that I made some cards. This first one is very similar to the 3D ornament that we made, except the ornament is 3D on the card. So I already folded our circles in half, just like we did for the ornament, and we're gonna glue them all together. And then you have the black piece, which is hanging, like the hanger for the ornament. So put that down on top so you know where to start placing your ornament. And then this other little piece goes that way. And that's the top of the ornament. And now we're going to start gluing the half circles. So glue all of your circles in half, if you don't know this already. And then put glue on half of the ornament and then just keep sticking and lining them all up and press them down. You can decide what order you want them. I have two reds on the outside now push them together really tight and now you're going to want to glue the two outside folded pieces and that's how we get that 3D element of the ornament popping up. And there you have it. So cute and easy. And now the kids can write a personalized message on the inside. Don't worry about the handwriting, kids. Practice makes perfect. Let me show you some of the other card kits I have available. A uh, great thing that I do every year is reuse old cards. A lot of people send photo cards every year, but how about those other cards? You can tear off anything that's signed and keep the fronts of the cards because they make great craft projects. So this craft kit is gonna have the piece of construction paper folded in half and a couple of discarded cards. These ones are actually, mine are brand new, but they were all donated. So let me give you a couple ideas of what you can do at home to make some cards to add to your presents, kids. This one, I went to my craft drawer and I just pulled out all my supplies. I really didn't have a plan. I just wanted to give you some ideas. So on this one, I used my hole puncher and put the ribbon through. So this is just in my extra ribbon drawer. Take some small pieces and I made a bow on top and I cut the card and wrote Merry Christmas on the inside of that one. Super simple. How about another idea? I had found some sparkly red tape downstairs. So I took this card and cut it in half and I actually cut off the top portion so it actually looks like it's coming off of the page. And then we're gonna open that one this way. You don't even have to worry about writing. All you have to do is sign your name. I cut out the season's greetings from another card and this I pulled a doily from my craft bin and I cut out a circle shape from another card. So there's another great idea. Use what you have at home, yarn, thread, extra special paper. Doesn't matter what it is. What matters is that you put your own personal touch on it. And have fun. This is a great way to keep the kids busy while the cookies are in the oven. This is another card I cut out and I just used some washi tape for a little detail. If you have some of that. And on the inside, I cut out some old tissue paper. And then again, just put the old the cards on top of it. So the writing's already there. I thought the tissue paper just gave it a nice look. So there's about four different cards you kids can make at home. Stop in the library this week and pick up your card kit. Don't forget, we're gonna be closed on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day but you can come back to the library on December 26th. See you soon.